using sunlight and the, the seaweeds in their tissues, in their bodies, are using sunlight to help power their growth. But that sunlight can become overwhelming if the sea temperature increases. And so when the temperature gets maybe one degree warmer than usual in summer, all of a sudden that sunlight that would otherwise be very useful becomes essentially toxic for them. And this causes them to, to struggle. It causes them to expel the tiny seaweeds that live within their bodies. And as it was the seaweeds that actually gave them their color, that as soon as the coral pushes out these seaweeds, all you're left with is the coral animal. And so what you see is essentially just the skeleton and it's just bright white. If that bleaching lasts for maybe weeks to a month or so, um, and then the sea temperatures come back down again, very often the corals will recover and survive. But if that bleaching persists for several months or the temperatures get ridiculously high, you know, sometimes five degrees or so more than usual, then the corals will often die. If the corals die, the reef landscape is entirely transformed from what you would normally expect to see with sort of lots of bright colors uh, and variety of colors, you know, to everything looking uniformly brown.